And so I think until we have some better sense and some better grasp on those process concerns, I think it's a bit unfair to have to answer the substantive question in the abstract. Oh, but it's not abstract. You think we should have the ability to do it or not? I didn't say how to do it. I just said, should we have the ability to do it? But I think the way we do it matters. Well, it, clearly it matters. And, and being effective matters too. Would you not agree with that? 100%. That's the so whole point of process. We can make up five things that we want to apply to the program. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Agreed. Um, and I, and I, I, I would argue that maybe the fact that we haven't had any complaints come forward with any specificity, specificity arguing that their privacy has been violated clearly indicates in 10 years, clearly indicates that something must be doing right. Somebody must be doing something exactly right. But who would be complaining? Somebody whose privacy was violated. You can't have your privacy if you don't know your privacy is violated, right? Can you? I disagree with that. I mean, I think, I think if the tree falls in the forest, it makes a noise whether you're there to see it or not. Well, that's a new interesting standard in the law. I'd like, we're going to have this conversation, but we're going to have wine because that's going to get a lot more interesting. <laughs> Fair enough. That. I want to thank you all. We apologize for the quick shift that you uh, received today. Important comments all. Uh, as you all know, we're trying to get this right. We want a robust debate. We want to have transparency and oversight and civil liberties protection that still maintains the ability for us to protect ourselves. We saw what happened prior to 9-11 when we walked away from those principles, and we paid a heavy price for it. We're going to hope that we do this right.